The fifth basic fear. The fear of old age. In the main, this fear grows out of two sources. First, the thought that old age may bring with it poverty. Second, is the concern that many have for what may await them in the world beyond. The most common cause of fear of old age is associated with the possibility of poverty. Poor house is not a pretty word. It throws a chill into the mind of every person who faces the possibility of having to spend declining years having to live on some form of charity. The possibility of ill health, which is more common as people grow older, is also a contributing cause of this common fear of old age, as is concern about diminishing sexuality. Another contributing cause of the fear of old age is the possibility of loss of freedom and independence, as old age may bring with it the loss of both physical and economic freedom. Symptoms of the Fear of Loss of Love The distinguishing symptoms of this fear are 1. Jealousy The habit of being suspicious of friends and loved ones. The habit of accusing wife or husband of infidelity without grounds. General suspicion of everyone and absolute faith in no one. 2. Fault Finding the habit of finding fault with friends, relatives, business associates, and loved ones upon the slightest provocation, or without any cause whatsoever. 3. Gambling The habit of gambling, stealing, cheating, and otherwise taking hazardous chances to provide money for loved ones, in the belief that love can be bought. The habit of spending beyond your means, or incurring debts to provide gifts for loved ones, in order to make a good impression. Also insomnia, nervousness, lack of persistence, weakness of will, lack of self-control, lack of self-reliance, bad temper. The fourth basic fear. The fear of loss of love. Jealousy and other similar forms of neurosis grow out of our fear of the loss of love of someone. This fear is the most painful of all the six basic fears. It probably plays more havoc with the body and mind than any of the other basic fears. Editor's Comment By way of introduction to each of the six basic fears, Napoleon Hill usually postulates how the fear originated in humans. In the original edition of this book, he suggested that the fear of loss of love may have started with prehistoric man's habit of stealing his neighbor's mate and taking liberties with her whenever he could. Though amusing, this theory does not take into account that women fear the loss of a love just as profoundly as men do, and both men and women fear losing the love of not just their mates, but also of family members and others with whom they are close. How the emotion of love originated may remain a mystery, but there is no mystery about how we feel when we lose it. This is the end of the editor's comment. How to Protect Yourself Against Negative Influences To protect yourself against negative influences, whether of your own making or the result of negative people around you, recognize that your willpower is your defense. You must put it into constant use until it builds a wall of immunity against negative influences in your own mind. Recognize that you and every other human being are, by nature, lazy, indifferent, and susceptible to all suggestions that reinforce your weaknesses. Recognize that you are, by nature, susceptible to all of the six basic fears, and you must set up habits to counteract all these fears. Recognize that negative influences often work on you through your subconscious mind and are therefore difficult to detect. Keep your mind closed against all people who depress or discourage you in any way. Clean out your medicine chest and stop pandering to colds, aches, pains, and imaginary illness. Deliberately seek the company of people who influence you to think and act for yourself. Do not expect troubles, as they have a tendency not to disappoint. Without doubt, the most common weakness of all human beings is the habit of leaving their minds open to the negative influences of other people. 
This weakness is all the more damaging because most people do not even know they do it. The following list of questions is designed to help you see yourself as you really are. You should read through the list now. Then set aside a day when you can give adequate time to go through the list again and thoroughly answer each question. When you do this, I advise that you read the questions and state your answers aloud so you can hear your own voice. This will make it easier for you to be truthful with yourself. Symptoms of the Fear of Old Age The most common symptoms of this fear are 1. Lack of enthusiasm The tendency to slow down and develop an inferiority complex, falsely believing you are slipping because of age. The habit of killing off initiative, imagination, and self-reliance by falsely believing you are too old to exercise these qualities. 2. Self-consciousness of speech the habit of speaking apologetically of yourself as being old merely because you have reached the age of 40 or 50, instead of reversing the rule and expressing gratitude for having reached the age of wisdom and understanding. 3. Inappropriate dress and action. Trying to appear much younger than your age by going overboard in your attempt to keep up with the style and mannerisms of youth.